back to his team for some of these early objective fights. And then, of course, Lunax to be able to kind of uh, shred down those tanks as we get into the later game. And I feel like uh, as far as scaling goes into the late game, uh, Lunax uh, just can't be beat. Yeah, uh, she hurts, right? That's what I like to call big damn. <laughs> Um, but like <laughs> here, here we go. It's rounded out. Now we see both team compositions here. They, the, the Simpsons lock into Matilda. Great option as a roam provides a lot of mobility. That's the thing though. Like if you look at the Simpsons, they have a lot of mobility, right? Uh, just having the guiding wind available to them alone, uh, is going to really help out positioning because one thing you really do have to worry about with team first blood having you know, all the tools that they have, specifically to Irithyll. Whenever Irithyll is picked, usually has that Electro Flash the Sprint combo, and you're going to have to work around that. You're going to have to be the ones to disengage whenever they pull their trigger, which is going to be the combination of, you know, the wall setup and the wild charge. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. But ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to game one. Team First Blood taking on the Simpsons. This inaugural match here right now between the finalists from last season and the, the people the team that upset the actors here. So there's a lot of Yeah, and uh, already with them starting out, you know, um, <laughs> I got to say, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out yeah you already see luffy just completely ignoring the boundaries of this jungle he's just already basically in the base of the simpsons uh trying to get his farm they're already cutting so he's gonna start making he's gonna have that farm and if he's inside the base he's gonna be getting tons more farm and able to kind of help out at these objectives and we're starting to see how these rotations could kind of formulate and form around here yeah, I mean, you know, there. this is what I was talking about, aggression, right? But there might be a setup here uh, as they were going to rotate down to the bottom, but they just disengaged from that. This is what I'm talking about, though, right? Team First Blood setting pace is going to be crucial for them, especially when you have, I mean, across the board, actually, the same can be said uh, already on the top side, though. Yeah, Simpson, or Promise in a little bit of trouble here. He's not going to be able to get away there. It's an easy cleanup. 14 first, but they caught him slipping inside that uh, inside the enemy base or inside the enemy jungle there. And Luffy, uh, not too concerned about Damien. <laughs> Just still thinking big away. Not even bothered by the fact that Matilda was up there and actually might be in a little bit of trouble here. So we do have a 3v1 potentially. Joy Bosch coming in, does set that wall down. It is, they are going to have to disengage here. It's Fallen and West. In to kind of uh, stay off that uh, so now I'll be putting on some damage It is a one right now. It is a of Yeah. So, you know, with that first turtle fight already going in the hands there, I mean, this is going to set the pace. Like I said, the Simpsons, though, now having a little bit of lead on top of them. So they've got to work around this. Team First Blood, obviously, it's still very early on. And at the time, you know, Kid did grab a kill for himself. That is going to scale really well on this jungle Paquito, seeing how this uh, pretty much plays out, right? Because across the board, we talked about this earlier, Private. The fact that, you know, Fallen has a tank jungler, they can do a little bit more with that. And uh, they're going to struggle a little bit, though. That's why we see Joy Bond once again just trying to take care of Gina. Uh, in the bottom side, both, both roams are actually going to be focusing on that and doing that here. Yeah, and right now, I mean, a one to two game, they just under a thousand uh, gold lead for the Simpsons already starting to take a little bit there against the first one. But I can't... Yep. So there we go. They're going to take off that little disengage here. 
And now on the top, in the middle side, Kid going to be the focus. Certainly, Eagle's going to come out. Kid gets taken down already in the early portion of the game. That's a bad time to die, too, because now Turtle's going to be for the tanking here for the Simpsons as they try to zone out Joybot a little bit. But the Turtle has now spawned as the team's going to go ahead and work on this one. Look at the zoning potential coming out from the Simpsons. You can't get really past this at all. There should just be another free uh, turtle here for the Simpsons. And there we go. Yeah, I mean, it's a party over at Turtle, and unfortunately, First Blood is not invited. Damage here coming up on that top tower, their left best kind of keep that pressure onto that Phobius, which is going to hopefully have an effect as we move into the. Yeah, exactly. So here we go. Still, both teams just, I mean, it's technically they've got a small 2K gold lead or so. And that's why we see team first, but going in there, it's going to be the wild charge. Look at the damage coming out from Kid, though. They had the black shoes available. They're pumping out quite a bit of damage. Gina trying to follow up on there. No one goes down in that engage, though, at all. Well, let's take a look at the items here. So we figured out some of the technical problems for our wonderful, wonderful King of All Potatoes. How are you doing? How are you doing, Aisu? Hi, Dave. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Can you take... hear me? Yeah, beautiful. You can see all in the middle lane, though. Some action going on. It seems like a, a kid will not get the kills. It's a, the magic shoes will save Nate's life for now. Yeah. So, you know, as... <laughs> As I was saying, right, pacing is going to be crucial for both teams here. But right now, we Red saw just previously Team First Blood trying to get something started. But off cam, they did grab a kill. That's going to go in the hands of Kid, which is crucial, right? Um, and yeah. meanwhile, Luffy just doing Uranus things here in the top side. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's the benefit of, like, talk to me about the benefit, the pros and cons of doing that, right? Obviously, it gives your team the advantage, uh, the lane prior, so you can go to the turtle, but it also cuts away a lot of experience from your team. Yeah. But here we go, the demonic uh, well, force comes out, and Promise jumping in and out, though, doing quite a bit of damage. Oh. Not deadly enough, not lethal enough to actually make, not, to make anything happen. I mean, on the bottom side, Kowal has already taken the first tier one tower away from the opposition. Here we go, Kid jumps in, finding a lot of damage onto Mathel, and he will take him down. As if one kill is so already going to team first blood, now comes the full clash. So Turtle is going down very, very low. Promise, and he's done as much as he can as Turtle will be taken away by the Akai. A beautiful heavy spin will put Gina onto the wall. will be taken down shortly after. A nice execution from the entire team. Simpsons will make sure to get objectives and some kills in return to trade. Oh, they're still going. Kid might get taken down, and he does promise able to clean that kill up. So the Simpsons came out huge there, right? I mean, they got yep. a, a nice, comfortable gold lead on top of that. They got a couple of crucial kills plus the turtles. So right now, that snowball effect we were talking about during the draft can definitely start to happen. It's already happening, actually. And they managed to get their first turret. They might grab another one here on the top side. You see everybody making their way up here, Dave. Yeah, it's a 3 to one Here is Nate trying to soak up the minion wave as much as he can before he defends this 3 to one tower defense. Turn of turn likes not going to happen. Fallen jumps in, just trade a little bit of HP here, and it will quickly dash away thanks to support on the Mathilda. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, we might see a little bit of trade on the tower here. Yeah, I think this is the best thing that Team First Blood can do. Uh, grab turrets where they can. They definitely need some space to work with. It might even take a... They might try to take this buff. Not sure if they're going to be able to. Fallen uh, did have the retribution, but looking to make a play. Here we go. Demonic Force one more time on the kid. who will be pulled back and one more kill. Going to, going to Promise right here. We'll turn him into a killing spree right now. Three kills in a row. Joy Boss, wherever low, have to use the ball charge. Yet again, stop to safety, but there's one more dash. For promise to take away another kill. This guy is absolutely dominating. Meanwhile, towards the mid lane is Team Simpsons taking down another tower in return, putting themselves in a 5,000 go lead eight minutes into the game. Man, Promise was just waiting for that. You know, he was just waiting for the wild charge so he could <laughs> proc that last demonic force, uh, able to grab him the kill there. He's he's 
thick right now, right? He's four, yeah. one and two on this Phobius. And I mean, he like, that's the great thing. Fallen doesn't actually have to worry about being that front line all the time because he already knows promises there. Damien's doing the same thing. And now this is a clear signal for them to just go ahead and take the first Lord of the game as they Ooh. do. So now hey, team first bloods on the backside here. They've got to just allow themselves to farm up a little bit, especially for Gina, right? Gina yeah. really hasn't been able to do too much just yet, but time will tell because still it is only the first Lord, right? They might get some more turrets out of that, some more space, but team first blood definitely could hang on to this as we just saw too. There's, the Berserker's Fury being picked up by Gina. So that might help. But again, you have to get past this massive front line of the Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah, Akai, Mathilda, and he had Promise. I want to take a look at items right here. Oh, before the items here, Joy Bod might find himself between a, you know, a little bit of pickle here. Or able to just walk away thanks to the fact that he is a very uh, mobile rock. Now the, the little wall there, we'll just to push away the Lord a little bit, delaying the inevitable as the Lord will now charge onto the tier two tower down to the mid lane. Look at HP though, Joy Bodge will have to force to use ultimate just to get away, but a flame shot sets no! A beautiful execution from Promise will make sure that one goes down. As now it seems as Hurricane just proves brutally running through the base of Team First Blood. There's no survivor still standing now between the base and the first victory of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Team Simpsons will take the first win. Man, I, so I don't know what the record is for the fastest game in NACT this season, but that was, you know, I was like, a regular Lord probably going to convert it to some turrets, you know, or uh, some space. Well, it won them the game. So <laughs> wasn't that was expecting bad. that. Wow. Yep. I think it was 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes. Yeah, nice. I was about to hand it to you to talk about how they want to execute this Lord. But then they just like, to the heck with it. We're just going to shove it down <laughs> <laughs> and it caught an end. That's game one. It, it's actually a little bit anticlimactic, but also show you how prepared Simpsons really is coming to tonight's series. They want to get out of this. They want to go to the last final match tomorrow. Yeah.